Well, we're practically in the center of a Native American town that was called Etzanoa, that was visited by the Spanish in 1601 AD. And eyewitnesses from that expedition reported that the town was on both sides of the river, at least five miles long with roughly 20,000 inhabitants, far more than anyone expected for a town on the Great Plains. It absolutely changes our, our view of uh, the plains at that early time period. Uh, there were probably other large settlements to the north, also occupied by ancestral Wichita. A town up in northwestern Iowa is now estimated at 10,000. More large places up in North Dakota. So rather than the teepee-dwelling folks of the Hollywood image, a far different view of settled people uh, processing bison in industrial quantities, trading with people at great distances, speaking a variety of languages. Why here? Excellent water. Uh, the springs all along the bluff here provide pure water. Uh, plenty of trees, uh, ready access to the bison herds further away. Well, research here is going to continue long after I'm gone. We're just getting started uh, sampling some spots in the town. Uh, there's plenty been excavated already, and we want to compare between places within the town to see what differences there might be and to try to track the chronology of the place. We know it was occupied for roughly 300 years, but we don't know how big it was when it started. We only know how big it was in 1601 AD.